Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be discussing about error 0xc00005 in Windows 10. If you got that error, this is a video for you to help you resolve it. Now, there is many causes for this error. First and foremost cause is a corrupt registry. It can be as well issues in DEP or a faulty RAM or a malware. So, uh, to help you fix this error, let's get started with the first fix. So, as a first fix, what you need to do, you need to go to the search toolbar and type CMD. Command prompt app will appear. Click on run as administrator. Once this window appears, uh, you need to type uh, the following command, which I will put it on the description of the video so you can copy and paste it and it is sfc space slash scan now and then click on enter now it will take a little bit of time to complete the scanning uh, but once it is completed if the issue of this error is in the registry file because of a missing or corrupted file it will repair them and your error uh, will be resolved so after the scanning is completed, restart your computer and check if the error is resolved or no. In case the error was not resolved, then uh, we need to go and apply uh, the second fix. So uh, for that, I will close the window here. And then we, you need to go again to the search toolbar and type run, R-U-N. Run app will appear, click on it. Then here you need to type uh, this code. Uh, S capital letter YSDM.CPL then click on OK and here you need to go to advanced tab click on advanced then click on settings then go to data execution prevention tab click on it and here you need to select the second option uh, which is turn on the EP for all programs and services except those I select so uh, here um, uh, you need to uh, add the uh, uh, the app that is giving you this error. For that, you need to click on Add, and then locate uh, the error. Once you locate it, click on Open to add to add it uh, to the list. Once this is added uh, added here, click on Apply, and then click on OK. Afterwards, um, check if the error is resolved or no. So, if again uh, this error was not resolved, then we need to go and apply uh, the third fix. Now, in case this error was not resolved, uh, you need to go then and try the third option to uh, resolve it. And that, uh, for that, you need to uh, uh, scan your system using your antivirus for uh, any malware that might be causing this error. Uh, for that, uh, you can use a third-party antivirus or your built-in antivirus, which is Windows Defender. So I'm going to guide you how. What you need to do, you need to go to the search toolbar and type Windows Security. Windows Security app will appear. Uh, go to Virus and Threat Protection. Click on that. Here you need to go uh, for uh, scanning option, scan options, because uh, you should select um, full scan. There is a quick scan, which is quicker, obviously, and there is a full scan. So I would suggest to go for the full scan, select full scan, and then uh, click on scan now. After scanning your system, uh, check if there is any malware and uh, clear it out. Afterwards, try uh, and again access that uh, app or file giving you that error and check if it is resolved or uh, it is not resolved now in case it was not resolved there is a fourth solution you can as well apply um, for that you need to put your antivirus off for a very short period of time and open the application causing this error and check if this error is still there uh, or no if this error disappears, uh, that means that your antivirus is blocking uh, the application for a possible threat. This will be up to you uh, to judge 
and to decide if the application is legitimate or no and you can make a decision whether to access it or to delete it so this is the fourth solution if that as well did not work there is a fifth solution which you can try so let's get let's go now and try it for the fifth solution what you need to do you need to go to the search toolbar and type run run app will appear click on it here you need to type uh, regedit r-e-g-e-d-i-t and then click on ok then here you need to go and select and uh, expand each key local machine so if it's not uh, uh, expanded expand it and then um, go to software and expand software as well and here um, you need to go to Microsoft locate Microsoft and click on expand uh, the good thing about all these options uh, is that they are put in alphabetical order so you can locate the file uh, quickly so here expand Microsoft and then uh, you need to locate Windows NT so scroll down to Windows NT Windows NT and expand Windows NT as well and um, then expand current version after expanding current version then you need to locate uh, Windows and here um, you need to click uh, on window on Windows so don't expand it just click on it and uh, on your right hand side you, you need to locate load uh, apple nit underscore dlls so uh, locate that file click double click on it and check the value data if it's not put zero you need to put it zero so put it zero and then click on ok and then uh, restart your pc and check if this error is resolved or no if it's not resolved then uh, you need to go now and check uh, another solution which is the sixth solution so let's go ahead and uh, uh, apply this solution as well in case all the previous solutions all the previous fixes did not work for you for solution number six you need to go to the search toolbar and type cmd you will see command prompt click on run as administrator and here you need to type uh, the following code which is chkdsk space slash f space slash r and then click enter here um, you will uh, see a question um, asking you would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restarts you need to uh, uh, type y which is yes and then click enter this volume will be checked the next time the system restarts so what you need to do um, uh, close the uh, command prompt now and then restart your uh, PC and then check if this error is resolved or no it should have been resolved but still in case if uh, uh, it was not resolved then uh, let's go now and try the last solution which is solution number seven for this error for solution number seven you need to go to the start menu right click on it then uh, click on device manager and here you need to locate disk drives expand it click on expand and then right click on the option that appears under disk drive right click on it and then click on update driver then here uh, search automatically for updated driver software click on that so it will search for updated drivers now if you don't have the updated one uh, it will advise you to update it you need to click on that and update your driver uh, so for me I have got the best drivers for your device are already installed so I don't need to do anything uh, with that I just close the window 
uh, and leave it but if you get uh, any other message that uh, available drivers um, uh, are there for you to update then go ahead uh, and do that afterwards um, restart your pc and check uh, regarding that error it should be resolved by now with that i have come to the end of this video thanks for watching subscribe to my channel to watch upcoming videos take care goodbye